You said uh, Ringo joined at 62, yep. right? Yeah. And wh why, I'm sure people who love the Beatles are going to roll their eyes, but wh why did Best leave? Um, the long and complicated one, but um, it, it took me most of the last 20 years to work out what had happened. And it, oh, this, this isn't like a, like a, I thought it would be like a footnote that everybody would, kn would know this. Well, lots of people try and think it's a footnote because th okay. the, the noise has been put out there, which is Pete was a terrible drummer and he wanted Ringo and it all lived happily ever after. That's how the fairy tale goes, which isn't how it happened. So with Pete, um, they become the best band in Liverpool. They've got Brian Epstein now as their manager at the end of 61. They now got a record deal with George Martin. Okay. When they went to their audition with George Martin was um, the 6th of June, 1962. At the end of the test, George Martin says to John Paul and George and Brian, don't mind what you do as a group, but if I give you a contract, and it was still a big if, if I give you a contract, I'm going to bring in a session drummer to play on the record. Now that was normal practice, right. but John Paul, George and Brian didn't know that was normal practice. And they, um, uh, there's a quote from Paul where he says, well, hang on, we can't just get rid of Pete. No, he's great when he plays live. No, we've got this great sound, but this was our last chance for a record deal. If the record producer doesn't think Pete's up to it, we've got to make a business decision and we're going to have to make a change. We're going to have to find another drummer. Whoa. So when the contract comes through towards the end of July, they start asking other drummers. So they asked um, four drummers in total. Bobby Graham, who says no. Richie Galvin says no. Ringo says yes. Johnny Hutchinson says no. And they've sort of recreated history to sort of, oh, we fell in love with Ringo, he was the greatest, all that kind of stuff. And it, it reads like a lovely story, but it didn't happen like that. Literally, that uh, the Saturday before Pete got the bad news that he was out, John Paul and George take Ringo to go and see Brian. Brian confirms he can have the job replacing Pete on the Tuesday. The Wednesday afternoon, Brian brings Pete in. And what we've always... And, and, and hold on, uh, Brian again is... Brian Epstein is their manager. It's the, the Beatles' okay. manager. So from the end of 61, he becomes their manager and... But but they pretty, they pretty much told him straight, like they didn't even... There was no chance to get Pete on there. It was just like, we think that he's not up to the task, so we're not giving you this deal unless you change your drummer. No, because George Martin never said change your drummer. They just thought, they just thought because he said there's going to be a session drummer... The, the impression they got was we need to get rid of this yeah. Pete Best drummer or we're not going to get the deal. Yeah. Whereas actually, when they actually turn up in September um, for their first first time as a run through under contract with George Martin, he's surprised when this guy Ringo Starr walks in and thinks, who's he? Nobody had told him that they changed drummers because George Martin never told them they had to get rid of Pete. He said just for the purposes of making that first record. I'll use a session right. drummer, which was normal practice. So he was quite surprised when the, the drummer was changed. What the hell? And so what <clears throat> is, is Pete Best still alive? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Pete's still alive. And, and, and so what, what was his, I guess, through the years, what has he said about that whole experience? Because he must have been quite gutted as well. Oh, well, absolutely. Um, and it mean he like at the time and also like as they grew you're sitting at home on the couch and they're on the Ed Sullivan show yeah exactly right and he thinks that could have been me um, and he right. did get depressed in the 60s he did attempt suicide oh and my he, god um, thankfully he was saved um, his mum and his, his brother found him and he thought what am I doing that's stupid and he sort of put it all behind him you know he'd carried on in other groups had some success yeah. but but not a great deal and then he just gave it up and just went to work and dedicated family man was brought out of retirement for a one-off gig in uh, sort of the mid 1980s and didn't realize how popular he was because within liverpool nobody could understand why they wanted to get rid of pete because uh, he was really popular very very popular with the girls especially but other musicians we're thinking, well, hang on, he's a great drummer. Why would you get rid of him?